So, tips for the winter and winter fishing. I'm here on the banks of the Welsh Dee, a really big river, and the key with this thing is it's a freestone river. And we're coming into winter proper now, and my tip for fishing in the winter, especially for, gra for grailing at this time of year, more than any other time of year, is wait. Now the thing is, most people that fish a freestone river are coming here with their summer nymphs, and the problem is, they're never reaching the bottom, and that's where the grailing is. So let's look at my top tip to make you catch more grailing in winter on freestone rivers. You'll usually be fishing very deep, very powerful flows in order to get your flies to where the fish are, which is right down near the bottom, then we need weight. So let's look a little bit closer, shall we? Your normal run of the mill stuff, so we've got to cut the mustards. So we need to be looking at some serious tungsten. So people go on about fly selection. Now this is just a, a typical nymphin box. As you can see, absolutely rammed to the gunnels with everything. Um, small beads, no beads, heavy beads. But nothing too heavy because these are my fishing flies. My actual bombs, the ones that I get these flies down to the grail in to catch them, are completely different. These are a different kettle of fish altogether. So let's have a closer look, shall we? So this is what I mean by bombs. Um, now you see I've got little ones here, a 4.5 mil bead. And then I've got jig backs. And then I've got a 3.5 and a load of lead underneath. And here I've got a selection. These are all 3.5 mil beads. Um, so you've got three, you get three mil beads, you've got four. So you've basically got 12, 12 mil of tungsten. And in these cases, sometimes 15 mil of tungsten. And I use these to get my flies down in the late bag. And you can tell, they're basically, they're not fishing flies, although the ones with the tags will take fish in skinnier water. But these are purely to get down. And if I'm not competition fishing, I use these things. And this is a, this is preloaded uh, hooks, lead bombs basically. And they're, 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 they're based to look like caddis. Now it's very rare that you catch them. However, you can obviously catch on them. But these are the bombs, and these are the th these are the flies that I use, or these are the flies that I tend to use, to make sure that I can get these flies, the pretty things, down to where the grail and are feeding. And that for me is key: getting the flies where the grail and are feeding, right down on the riverbed. So there you go, when it comes to fishing for grayling in winter, these fish are shoaled up and they're right near the bottom. In order for you to catch these fish that are feeding right on the bottom, you need those big bombs. Your other flies fishing above, they can have two mil, three mil beads. Sometimes I fish with no weight whatsoever, which you'll see in the little clip. However, if you've not got those bombs, you can't get down and catch those grayling. That's my winter tip. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe to my channel.